Many technicians can read a spark plug to determine the health of the engine. They can determine if there's a head gasket leak, if it's consuming oil. But can you do the same thing with oxygen sensors? Yes. Take a look at this. This is excessive soot or carbon deposits on the sensor. What's going on here? Well, you know that there might be a fuel trim problem. In other words, you need to solve the problem upstream of the sensor. And this can be caused by a multitude of things. But first, check your codes, make sure that the oxygen sensor is performing properly. And in some cases, that excessive soot may be normal, but you need to verify and confirm this before you go ahead with the repair. If it is contaminated, the sensor needs to be replaced. Take a look at this one. This is silicone contamination. In other words, those white deposits are evidence of silicone poisoning. These can come from gaskets, sealants, and other things inside the engine. But silicone-based adhesive products will contaminate the sensor element, just like a leaded fuel situation. The solution is the sensor needs to be replaced. And also look on that engine and make sure that they're using oxygen sensor-friendly gasket materials. If you do run across an oxygen sensor and it rattles, this is a sign that the sensor may have undergone thermal shock. Thermal shock is basically when water is thrown up onto the sensor and it causes the ceramic to break or fracture. The thermal shock from the raw fuel also can cause issues with moisture and the exhaust can also cause the sensor heater to crack. The solution here, well, you need to address the problem upstream. And in other words, the raw fuel situation or where the oxygen sensor is located. Additional oxygen sensors, like let's say for diagnostic purposes, they need to be mounted properly. In other words, you can't have the sensor mounted down to where water can get into it and cause that thermal shock issue. Okay, take a look at this one. The sensor is bent. Well, in this case, it's mechanical damage and you need to look around the exhaust pipe to see what hit that oxygen sensor and caused the damage. But the sensor can't be bent back because you're changing the reference error if the body is cracked or has a fracture. So you need to replace that sensor. Here we have another carbon deposit problem, but this is due to high oil consumption because of wear in the engine on the valves or other issues with the PCV system. Again, like all of these solutions, you need to diagnose what's going on upstream before you replace the sensor. You may have seen this, water in the connector. Well, this is critical. You need to replace with a new sensor and check the electrical connection at the seal and the connector to the ECM. The water, well, what happens is it prevents reference air from traveling down that wire into the oxygen sensor and could cause other issues with the performance of the sensor. Here's a problem you may see out in the field is melted wires. Hey, the oxygen sensor lives in a very hot place with a lot of stuff spinning around. In other words, it's near the exhaust system. If you have any damage to the wires, you need to replace the sensor because it's almost impossible to repair a wiring harness on an oxygen sensor. So replace the sensor. In some cases, you may see frayed or broken wires on the oxygen sensor. The key here, again, is to find out what caused the damage. And then when you do install the new sensor, make sure the harness has enough slack in it. Reading an oxygen sensor is just like reading a spark plug in some cases. You've got to make sure that you're solving the issue upstream of either the spark plug or oxygen sensor to make sure that it functions properly. If you do not do this and just replace the oxygen sensor or spark plug, you're going to run into problems. But before you pull that oxygen sensor out, make sure that you're diagnosing it completely with either a scan tool or a scope and also looking at the monitors on the engine to see if it can get through the complete monitor cycle for the oxygen sensor. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.